Hi, Lauren. I'm Johnny Lavoie, the consulting hair expert for Loyal Paris. How are you? I'm good. Well, I noticed that you have this long, thick hair. Tell me, do you just usually wear it down and loose? No, normally I put a lot of effort into it and I curl it. So have you ever tried braids? I've tried to do them before, but they just didn't turn out very well. Well, you know, you've been seeing the braids on the runways, you've been seeing the braids on the red carpet, and you have the perfect head of hair to try braids. So I'm going to show you three different ways that you can incorporate braids into your hairstyling options. The first braid I'm going to show you is something a little more sleek, and it's going to be the cornrow. Now to get the look started, I'm going to use the Studio Line Clean Gel. And I'm going to apply it right to dry hair, and you start to comb it throughout the front so that you have a nice, sleek look. The next thing we're going to do is actually start our cornrow by doing a traditional three-strand braid. Once you've crossed over each strand once, you're going to start to pick up hair from the front and the next crossover from the back. And when you like pick up the hair, do you, how much do you pick up? Because this is going to be one fairly large braid, we're going to pick up quite a bit. That makes sense? Yes, it does. And you're just going to continue this process all the way to the other side. So we're going to bring the braid all the way around this oh, side. Oh, okay. Just roll it up and secure it with a few hairpins. So you think you'll be able to recreate it yourself? Oh yeah, definitely. I love it. Okay, Lauren, so I showed you how to do it. Now I'm gonna let you give it a try. Okay, so I'm just gonna like pull a section and then I'm gonna split it into the three traditional lengths of hair to do a braid. And once you cross over once, now each time you wanna pick up once from the front and then once from the back. So if you wanted to, you can stop it there. And then you're gonna secure that section. You're gonna braid this section. So now, all you need to do is wrap it around into a bun and then secure with hairpins. So it's that easy. Wow, it was pretty easy and I love it. It looks great. So the next look I'm gonna show you was a big hit on the runways, and that's the side fishtail braid. Are you familiar with the fishtail? Um, I don't really think I am, actually. Well, a fishtail braid is a two-strand braid versus the traditional three-strand braid. To start the look off, it's important that you have this tousled, messy, bedhead look. So because we already have the gel in it, I'm gonna first just scrunch dry the gel so that we can create that look. So the next thing we want to do is kind of lock in this texture. So I want a spray that's going to be wet and flexible. So I'm going to use the Mega Spritz by Studio Line. Spray and scrunch. So you want a little bit of lift at the root. We're going to, with our fingers, comb the hair over to the side. And then I'm going to use this bungee cord just to secure the ponytail. And this is a little tip just to help you as a beginner get your braid in right the first time. So you want to get your hair into even sections. So you want to take a little bit from behind one section and bring it over to that section. You're going to bring from behind this section and bring it over to that section. And you just repeat that process till you get to the end. And you did so well with your three-strand braid, I know you're not gonna have a problem with this one. So do you wanna give this a try? I'll try it. Okay, so I'm gonna hand you over the two sections, here you go. Okay. Make sure it's a smaller section because you don't wanna go into the three-strand braid. And you wanna make sure that you take from behind. So you did, a, once again, an amazing job. But now I'm going to take this one step further and we are going to rough up the braid so it's not so pretty. And I'm just going to take it with my thumbs and you just pull it apart a little bit. Just take a hairpin, pin it in there. And there you have your Rockstar Fishtail Braid. What do you think? I really love this look. I think it's super fun. So the next braids I'm going to do are small braids. So it's not a main focal point. Um, and we're going to call it bohemian chic, okay? So the first thing to do to get this bohemian style is to create that beautiful bohemian wave. 
I'm going to create that wave by using a waving iron, but you don't need an iron like this to get the wave. I'm going to show you a little trick. All you have to do is apply some of the Ever Strong Overnight Hair Repair Treatment to your hair before you go to bed, braid your hair, and in the morning when you take the braids out, you'll have that beautiful flat wave. Wow, that's a great idea. You don't want really a curl, you want more of a flat wave. This iron is going to do that for me. So you just slip it in and you go, weave it back and forth. Leave it for a couple of seconds and take it out. And you see now the beautiful texture this and wave your hair has, it's very hippie chic. It's the perfect base for our boho look and our small braids. I put in a center part just because that boho look calls, I think, for a center part. And I'm going to lift the hair up a little bit there, and I'm going to take a section from underneath this and just braid it into a small braid. Braids are a great way just to add a little visual interest to a regular hairstyle. And then I'm going to secure the braid. Then I'm going to drop this section down behind the braid, OK? OK. Once you've done that, you're going to repeat that process over on this side and braid it. So now, if you wanted to do something casual, you can just bring these back and secure them together. But I want to do something a little more fun. Is we're going to take our braids, and I'm going to take a small belt buckle, and you're just going to feed it through, about three on each side. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a small section of hair, pin it up, take our braids, secure them together. We're going to release this top, and that's going to cover our elastic. This is so fun. I love this look. So then we want to add a little bit of shine with the Studio Line Mega Spritz for a little extra hold. And this will hold the wave in for you all day. So Lauren, this is the last of the three braid looks that I showed you. What do you think, and are you going to try them? I love this one, and I love all of them. I'll definitely try them. Great.